I'm Luke. I'm Rachel. This is the Spinner EV channel and today we're going to do a direct comparison of costs on all of our personal EVs. So two weeks ago, we released a video that was the three year anniversary of getting the Bolt. And one of the first comments that we got on that was from one of our regular viewers, QRail. Oh yeah? Who, yeah, and, and uh, here's, I'll put, the, I'll put the quote up uh, right here next to me, uh, put the comment up, and it's a big comment, so I'll just get to the beef of it. Do you have any granular data, cost per mile? Can, I, can you tell if the Tesla Bolt or 500 wins in any category? Like if you compared all three in miles per kilowatt hour, cost of tires, anything else that sticks out in your mind? What a great question, I love that. And we've actually um, sort of answered this a little bit in different videos throughout the years, but no one's ever asked us before to put it all in one place, so. Now we're going to do it for you. Usually when I do this comparison, I'll do it against a hypothetical uh, gasoline powered uh, competitor. Yeah. But let's just do it with put, pitting all of ours together. Which one do you think is going to be the most efficient? Well, we've got four vehicles. We've got the Tesla, we've got the Fiat, we've got the Bolt, and we have a live wire motorcycle. So I'm guessing the motorcycle is going to be the cheapest. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, kind of a kind of a trick question there. We are throwing the motorcycle, even though we shouldn't compare cars to motorcycles as we go. but in terms of efficiency, they don't all give us lifetime information. Right. So uh, the Bolt, okay. it does give lifetime information and it says its lifetime efficiency is 4.0 miles per kilowatt hour. Okay. Um, your Fiat yes. gives an efficiency average over the trip odometer. And, uh -huh. and I think over the last 350 some miles mm -hmm. that you've driven it, it yes. was 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh -huh. So you're out doing the bolt. Yay. Go tomato. The Model 3, uh, the day we picked it up from Hertz, I reset a trip odometer uh -huh. on it. That's, these are just my miles on this car. And okay. I haven't, I've left, left that one alone and I took a, a picture of it. So I'm just gonna pull that up here real quick. Okay. 35,211 miles in yeah. 18 months <laughs> is what we put on this car. We drive it a lot. Average, average energy, 237.8 watt hours per mile. That calculates to 4.2 miles uh -huh. per kilowatt hour. So of the cars, the Tesla wins, uh -huh. but we're talking 4.2 versus 4.1 versus 4.0. They're all three really efficient. They're good. The, compared to other EVs, they'd all three be near the top of the charts. Right. The live wire, on the other hand, I, I rode it uh, to work yesterday and on my commute, I came back and the energy usage said 119 watt hours per mile, and that works out to 8.4 miles per kilowatt hour. That's a lot more, <laughs> y'all, but I'm glad you included that because I do know people that have used a motorcycle as their daily driver, specifically because it is more efficient and it's less, it costs less to operate. So right. some people might be interested in that information. It's not better for... Um, it's not, it's not better for emissions. Motorcycles don't have the same kind of emissions controls that cars do, but if an electric motorcycle doesn't have emissions, so there you have it. Yeah. Um, so cost per mile with that efficiency, um, the electric rate that we get reimbursed for our solar power is 14 cents a kilowatt hour. So Ooh. that is uh, on the, where is it? I got to scroll, on the Bolt. 3.5 cents per mile mm -hmm. on the Fiat, 3.4 cents per mile on the Bolt, on the Tesla, 3.3 cents per mile on the motorcycle, the Harley Livewire, 1.7 cents per mile. So the cars are all really close together, mm -hmm. uh, a tenth of a cent uh, between two tenths of a cent difference right. between all of them. But that is only calculating fuel cost, right? Only calculated fuel cost. But what we're gonna do today is tell you how much it costs, the entire operating cost, including things like insurance, tires, maintenance, all of that together is how much you actually have to take out of your budget in order to have a vehicle. Well, technically I don't have those maintenance figures because I haven't looked, they're, they're all EVs. The maintenance figures are no, nearly nothing anyway. There are no. They're, they're gonna be pretty, pretty clear mm -hmm. uh, ways to calculate. However, insurance, let's start with insurance. Okay. Um, we don't have our vehicles insured through the same company. We used to be with Geico for uh, many, many years. Mm -hmm. And when we got this Model 3, Geico shot the payment up by more than $200 a month compared to what we were doing mm -hmm. when, for the car that we traded in on it. Mm -hmm. So we switched to Allstate and they kept the payment where it was, but we kept our motorcycles insured through Geico. So since I brought that up, yeah. our 
motorcycles uh, insured with Geico. Uh, the live wire is on a 12 month policy at $639.39, which works out to $53.31 a month. All of these vehicles have full coverage on them. Okay. Uh, so, because we're, we're making payments on all, of, all four of them. Right. Um, then the Fiat, Bolt and Tesla are all through Allstate on six-month policies. Mm -hmm. So the Bolt's, uh, the Fiat six-month policy is eight hundred fifteen dollars and seventy-seven cents, which works out to one thirty-five ninety-seven a month. The Bolt one thousand five hundred thirty-one dollars and twenty-four cents for the six-month policy, which works out to two hundred fifty-five dollars and twenty-one cents a month, and the Model Three one thousand. $261 every six months, which means it's two sixteen forty four. dollars It's cheaper than the Bolt. I faked you out there. You guys thought the Tesla was going to be higher. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, <laughs> that's why you shop for insurance. I do want to mention something really quick. If you were listening closely, you may have noticed that he said the motorcycles are insured through Geico. We do have a second motorcycle, but that's not included in this calculation because it it's, is a gas-powered motorcycle. It's a Honda Rebel 500, and it, it is. is your bike and your car are 500s. Oh, that's um, right. I didn't but, think of that. <laughs> but uh, we haven't found an electric motorcycle that's not too tall. Right. So. But anyway, that's not what this is about. That's not what. So anyhow. Um, so insurance with just the cars, the Fiat is the least to insure, then the Tesla, then the Bolt. Okay. Tires. So tires, uh, we got about a little over 40,000 miles out of the original factory tires yeah. on the Bolt. It was really more like 44,000, mm -hmm. but 40,000 is a more round number. So I want to stick with that 40,000 mile mark. Okay? okay. So what we did was we went to the discount tire website and looked for whatever their top recommended tire would be. Not the cheapest, but the one that they say, this is the recommended tire for your car. Because when you go to discount tire, that's what they're going to say you need to get anyway. Right. right. You can get cheaper tires on the car if you so choose. But with the recommended tire, mm -hmm. the Tesla, it recommended a Goodyear tires. Okay. At $261 each mm. or a set of four for 1044 For the Bolt and the Fiat they recommended Yokohamas uh -huh. for, for both of them. Right. Uh, the Tesla tires are 235-45-R18, the mm -hmm. Bolt 215-50-R17, and they are $173 for, per tire, or $692 for the set. Mm -hmm. For the Fiat, 185-55-R15 uh, size tires, $137 for the Yokohamas, or $548 for a set. So the Fiat is the lowest cost on the tires, mm -hmm. then the Bolt, then the Tesla, which, surprise, surprise, is also the order of their rim size. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's how it works, y'all. If you buy a, a bigger wheel, you have to buy a bigger tire, which is more expensive. So keep that in mind when you look at those cute sports cars that have those big wheels on them, they're gonna be expensive to put tires on, and that adds up. Now, since I included the live wire and everything else, I looked on Cycle Gear's website, because can't get them at Discount Tire, mm -hmm. and Michelin's would be about 208.99 starting <laughs> price. I didn't go too deep into the weeds, but we'll just say 417.98 for a set of tires on the bike, motorcycle tires are, are more pricier. expensive, but um, you only need two of them. So. Instead of four, so yeah. for a set, it, it doesn't cost as much. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a 120, 70, 17 on the front and a 180, 55, 17 on the back. 17 inches. Um, okay. So that, that's, that's them. So what does all this mean in terms of cost per mile of all these factors calculated? That's a good question. And then how the heck am I going to calculate it? <laughs> Why don't you tell us how so, you calculated that? Uh, the Fiat and the Bolt both drive roughly a thousand miles per month. Okay. So the, the 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 insurance cost is per month. So I'm going to take that insurance cost with the Fiat and the Bolt, divide it by a thousand, and get an idea of cost per mile toward insurance. Okay. Um, the Tesla goes about 50% more, about 1,500 miles a month. So I got to take the insurance cost on the Tesla, divide it by 1,500 to get realistically what we drive. Yeah. The motorcycle maybe 250, 250 miles a month, maybe. Yeah. So um, take its insurance cost, divide it by that. Mm -hmm. Tires, the bike, the motorcycle's gonna need tires every two years anyway, so I'm just gonna take right. that cost and divide it by 24 uh, or, and, and go from there. Mm -hmm. The 
tires on the cars, I'm gonna take that cost and divide it by 40,000, because right. that 40,000 miles that I brought up on the bolt mm -hmm. is when we needed to replace those tires anyway. Right. So that's gonna give us cost per mile that goes toward the tires. So, right. all four put together mm -hmm. in fourth place is the bolt. Really? Okay. All those put together, 31 cents a mile. 31 cents a mile for that Chevy Bolt. All right, let's see. Let's hear what else Third we got. Third place, yeah. the live wire, 30 okay. cents a mile. Well, but that's because it doesn't get ridden very much. It costs a lot of money to leave that thing sitting in the driveway, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Second place, the Tesla. Now yeah. Remember, the, the, the Bolt was 31, the live wire was 30, 20, two zero cents per mile. Wow, that's an efficient vehicle, Huge you guys. different, and on top, the Fiat 500, 18 cents a mile when all those ooh, factors ooh. are put in. So it is the least expensive one for us to drive. But that's very impressive for the Tesla because the Fiat, while it is the least expensive, it has, you know, a lot fewer amenities. You can't fast charge it. You can't go long range. It only has about 88 miles of range. On a good day. On a good day, which <laughs> is what I always say. It doesn't have anywhere near the kind of sophistication or amenities. It's not as comfortable. It's not as big as the Tesla. So the fact that the Tesla is only a little bit less expensive to operate is, I'm sorry, a little bit more expensive than the Fiat to operate is very impressive for the for the Tesla. It's worth those two cents. It it's worth really those two is. cents, but that's my two cents. Yes. It's worth those two cents per mile. It is, absolutely. But these aren't paid for. We're making payments on all four of them. Ah. So if we want to get down into, into it, we need to factor in the monthly payments as well. Right, because if you're going to get a car, you got to pay for it somehow. So okay. that is part of the operating cost. So let's look at that. What our real realistic expenditure would be if we factor in the monthly payment. Now, just monthly payments alone, the Fiat's the lowest, then the Bolt, then the Livewire, then the Tesla, mm -hmm. and they're all within about $160 of each other. Right, so but of course that's very specific to our situation. This isn't necessarily what you would pay if you bought it, because we bought two of these vehicles used, and you know, three. there are things, oh, three of them, then there's things like interest rates and you know, just the market at the time that we bought them. So this is our personal situation, but it's not necessarily Necessarily what everybody else would have. So, all factors. Cost of electricity in terms of efficiency per mile. Mm -hmm. Insurance, mm -hmm. tires, mm -hmm. and the monthly payment. Right. Factoring in the miles for the monthly payment the same way I did with the tires. Mm -hmm. In fourth place, because we pay a lot for it to sit around, is the live wire. Aww. Way more per mile because it just, we're still making that payment whether it goes anywhere or not. Right. Third place, then we get into the cars. Third place, 63.2 cents a mile is the Bolt. Wow, Bolt's really doing well on this. What Second place, 51.9 cents per mile is the Tesla. Yeah. And the winner, no surprise, because it won before and it's the lowest payment, uh, 49.2 cents a mile is the Fiat. So again, we're three cents apart on the Fiat and the Tesla per mile. Very, very impressive. Again, considering how much more you get out of driving the Fiat, the uh, Tesla compared to the Fiat. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my little tomato car, but I would not be able to function having only that car. Luke and I spend all of our road trips and all of our time together in the car is always in the Tesla. And if he was not around and the Tesla was not around, I would have to have a different car because the Fiat literally cannot do some of those things. So, um, But in that same situation, if this was the only car around, it could. It absolutely could. And it's not that much more to operate you know, and pay for and own than the Fiat is. So now, that's, again, impressive. In fairness, the Bolt could do all those jobs too. Absolutely, and has. But... Um, the the insurance the the, mm. the insurance premium on that surprised me when I when I looked yeah. through our policy documents today yeah. and, and I saw that that it's the most expensive to insure. Interesting. Um, what if all things were equal though? What if all of these vehicles went a thousand miles per month? That's a really good question because if you're trying to compare and you personally need to know what vehicle to drive, you want to know a fair comparison, not just how we personally use them. And right? this is just with the four that we have, so we're right. we're telling you this from first-hand experience, not necessarily, not research. Right. Um, if all things were equal, cost of electricity, insurance, cost of tires, monthly payment, all vehicle, all four vehicles at 1,000 miles a month each, mm -hmm. in fourth place goes the Tesla. 
Aww. <laughs> goes back down to fourth. It was getting a lot of help for the fact that it just puts on more miles per month right. than everything else. And I'm sure somebody's typed that comment in before they got to this part of the video. Yeah. <laughs> the Bolt is still in third, uh -huh. but the live wire jumps up to second. Yeah, it would. It's a motorcycle. <laughs> I need to ride that thing more often. it's going to cost less, of course. <laughs> and then the Fiat still in the lead. So the Fiat, with all those things considered, still 49.2 wow. miles. The Bolt's the same because their mileage calculations were the same. But the motorcycle goes from goes down to 56.9 cents per mile, down from $2.01 uh, with, with the small amount of miles being driven before. And the Model 3 goes from, uh, from 51.9 up to 74.9 by not getting yeah, enough yeah, miles yeah. put on But it. I want to point that out. Say that again. What is the least expensive? What is the car that would be the least expensive for us to own if we drove it a thousand miles compared to all the of Fiat. the others? The Fiat is it's least less expensive than the Livewire, but part of that is just because our payment is lower on the Fiat. It's a used car. Um, it's it's you know the the Livewire was just a little more expensive. And straight up honest with you guys, if mm. you drive more than a thousand miles a month, the Fiat probably can't. Do yeah, that. it can't do it. <laughs> uh, because it can't fast charge and yeah. it's only got 87 miles in, of range on a good day and that's indicated. Realistically, that's closer to 72 or something. Right, right, right. Because you, you, you take a 63 mile commute in there and it's a little scary on when you get home. It gets around 15% right. battery left when right. you get home. And not that. only that, Fiat 500Ds are not that easy to find. There aren't that many of them. Yeah. So even if you really, really wanted one, you might not be able to, to get one. Now to clarify for the viewers who have not seen, seen that car in any other videos, we're talking about a 2018 model. That's the first gen, the compliance car, the Fiat 500E. It's not the new one. Right. Uh, the new one can fast charge. That first gen can't. It's only just got the J1772 plug. Right. Uh, but those are those are our cars. Now here's what I'm going to do with this information. I'm going to take this stuff yeah. and I'm going to do a cost of ownership comparison with our cars and their hypothetical gasoline counterparts. It's going to take me a couple of weeks to get this information set. Mm -hmm. Now here's what I need from you. I know that I'm going to compare the 500E with another Fiat 500. Sure. I. The Chevy Bolt compares to the Chevy Trax, yep. so that's what that's going to be. I could probably even compare the Harley Davidson Livewire to, I don't know, a Sportster or something, and, <laughs> and, and go from there. Sure. But what do I compare this one to? And that's what I need your help with, viewers. Put down in the comments what gasoline powered car I should use as the comparison for the Tesla Model 3. The internet says I should use a BMW 3 Series, but what do you think? Should I stick with the BMW 3 Series or do you have other ones that I should use as direct comparisons with the Model 3? Yeah, if you're looking at a specific gas powered car or you have one, this is your chance to have Luke do the research and let you know if it will, how it will compare to the Tesla Model 3. And I'll have that video coming out in a couple of weeks. So be sure that you subscribe to catch, uh, to catch that. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.